Last week, I was talking about the importance of ad advocacy um, in your studio concerts. And I hope that was really helpful. Important that we as teachers actually go out and uh, talk about the benefits that, that our students get when they are learning the piano and indeed playing at a concert. I thought I'd go on today and just tell you some of my top tips from the many hundreds of concerts I have held, particularly as a class music teacher, when I'm trying to get through a whole class of 30 children and how I've always organised those to make sure that nobody gets bored and there's no, not too much fidgeting, everybody feels safe in terms of the performers and how you can actually get parents wanting to come back next year and indeed looking forward to it. So I think the first thing is to consider how many how many people you've got, how many students you've got who are going to perform. If you've got an awful lot and they are at a variety of standards, obviously if you had 30 who are all beginners or elementary students, you can probably get through that within an hour. I think an hour is about the maximum amount of time I would want any one concert to go on for. What I would do if I had more than that is I would divide them into different time slots. So I'd let's say I had 30 and they were great, you know, from beginners all the way up to advanced and I knew it was going to probably go on for a good hour and a half, let's say. I would split that into two groups, two equal groups. So when I say equal, I don't put all the advanced in one group and all the beginners in another, because actually they all need to hear each other. That's a really important thing. Um, so I'd split them maybe into two groups of 15 each. And I'd give the first group, let's say a time slot of uh, a two o'clock concert. And then I'd give the second group a time slot of maybe a 3.30 or a four o'clock concert. And I might leave space in the middle to have refreshments and for the, the groups to swap over. So that would be the first thing. Don't let it be on, go on too long. Really think carefully about that. The second thing is actually in the concerts themselves. Um, again, I would split them into two groups. Let's pretend for the moment, sake of uh, ease, that we've got 20 students playing and I know that it's going to fit into that hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them into two groups. I'm going to have 10 in each group. And this all gets organised in advance at the previous lesson. They know where they're going to be playing. And I will have on the stage or by the piano at the front, I'll have 10 chairs. And these will be sort of around the side of the piano. Yeah? Sorry, you can see this one here. They would be around the side of the piano, if that makes sense. Um, and the students would then go and sit, the first 10 students would go and sit on these 10 chairs in the order that they are going to play. So the first student is on the first chair and this takes a bit of organising from you, but it really, really does pay, pay the benefits and the dividends. So you've got all 10 sitting next to each other. They know therefore when that next, when the person in front of them comes back, it's their turn and there's no wasted time with people coming up and down from the um, from the audience. The other thing that's really good about this is that you are creating a mini safe circle for these children to perform in. And it means that they feel when they're sitting on the piano stool, they do feel part of something that is smaller and they tend to forget then about the other audience that's sitting down there. So, so they're sitting here, yeah, all these 10 children, they have their music with them. Uh, by that I mean they have their physical copy. They have not got it in a bag <laughs> with a zip, so they have to go scurrying around to open it up. They have their music. And what's more, their place for the music, where they're going to play, is clearly shown. And I would recommend you give them uh, either a bulldog clip like this to, to, um, to put on their particular piece, or they have a simple post-it note like this marking the place where the piece is. I cannot tell you the number of times in the past, you know, let, let's just take this as an example, I've got a Joplin here, so you know, let's say you, they come out and they've played this piece so many times and of course when they're playing at home they don't notice that they usually do this and then they come out and go, I can usually find it ever so easily and these pieces do go missing. So a simple bulldog clip just helps it open up.
And again, then you're saving valuable seconds if you have 20 people looking for their music very quickly, then um, uh, this, this will really help. So we've got them in their chairs, they're in order, they've got their music out of their bag and therefore they're really ready to play and everything will go very, very smoothly and therefore safe. Um, the final thing to think about is that they understand their stage manners and that you have practiced with them beforehand um, that little act of saying thank you, you know, putting their hand on the piano maybe and I've always told them checking to see their shoes are clean so they go down, oh yeah they're nice and clean and back they come up. Some people ask them to go down two, three, up two, three because otherwise you get all sorts of little curtsies or this, all very sweet, I know, <laughs> and nothing wrong with that at all. But you say, well, this is what pianists do. And that helps them build their self-confidence and helps them to feel part of the bigger picture. So some practical tips there really for trying out on your studio concert. As I say, split them into groups, keep it quite short, make sure that you want the parents to come back again next year, uh, mix up the groups so you don't have all the beginners together, but you have mi uh, beginners and intermediates together because they need to inspire each other. The beginners need to go, oh, I'd love to play that piece. And the more advanced people go, oh, I remember learning that piece or, you know, I, that used to be me. Um, get your 10 out there, you get them with their music in their hand with a post-it note or something in there and then you can have a lovely relaxed concert. I hope it goes really well. Do drop me a note and let me know if you've got one coming up and which of these ideas you might put into practice and indeed whether you've got any other ones you could share. Thanks for listening and happy teaching. Bye bye.